This is perfect. Now your face is perfect. Is it recording? Yes, it's been recording. That's the whole thing I'm doing. Alright, cool. Beat it, nerd. Take my dog? Yes. And your air. You took my air, I need my air. <laughs> Bye. So this is awkward. Anyways. People of Earth, I come to you from the moon. Oh, hell, hell, moon. I know it's weird. Uh, I don't know what to do in front of a camera. I'm not sure how to behave in front of a camera. I'm not a face to camera person, I guess. So it's basically gonna be super awkward. Cause that's usually what I do when I'm in uncomfortable situations. I become really awkward and then people are like, Anyways, so I decided to do a very special episode today of Moonlit and Polished to tell you about my adventure from getting this package here. I ordered this from Ulta because a couple days ago or weeks ago, Ulta sent me an email that was like, hey, you're approved for a credit card. And I was like, oh my God, do you know what that means? That means it's time for me to make some really bad decisions, like accepting the credit card and then buying so I bought some stuff online for my channel, um, for me because, you know, I only have like 60 subscribers, but you know what guys, 60 subscribers, yay, right? High five. Yeah, it's a weird high five. Anyways, um, so I wanted to buy some stuff for me to show off on my channel, whatever, and also I wanted to buy stuff, so there's that. But the package was supposed to be here on Saturday, and it did not get here. So on Monday, I called the post office and they were like, oh, it was forwarded to a different address. And I said, well, what's a different address? And they said, they said my address. They said it was forwarded from this address to this address. So basically the exact same address both times. I'm like, so if you forwarded it from the exact same address to the exact same address, why didn't it get to my house? So they were like, well, it's at another postal place. And so you have to pick it up there. And I went to go pick it up there. And they're like, no, you don't, we don't have it. These other people have it. And I said, okay, well, whoever has it, can they hold it for me so that I can get it? And they're like, yeah, but you know, they're closed in like two minutes. So you're not going to get there in time. So they closed it. And I waited till the next day. And then I called and they were like, yeah, no, we don't have the package, but the other people have the package and we'll definitely have them delivered to you tomorrow. So when I look at my tracking today, which is Wednesday, it said that they tried to deliver it at like 9 a.m. but no one was home. I was home. I was home the entire time. Me and my dogs were all home. So finally I had to call them and give them what for and tell them, hey, you know, where's my package? My package, I want my package, it has my stuff in it. And they were like, oh yeah, well, you know, you have like three packages here. You should come get them. Seriously? Just, I should just, I should just come get them. You're the post office. Why don't you deliver them? Freaking. But anyways, that was my adventure in getting my mail. I didn't like it. But I decided to tell you guys about it, to rant about it a little bit, let you guys see my face, which is not great today because I'm having some acne trouble from some Brazilian oil that I got for Christmas that I should not put in my face. Anyways, so now I'm gonna show you guys what's in my box. This box here. And if you care, you care. If you don't care, you don't care and then I suck and I'm sorry. Except I'm not. Sorry, not sorry. So I always, whenever I get stuff from Ulta, they always do like that free sample thing when I buy online and I always ask for perfumes because perfumes are super expensive and I am not gonna pay $40 for a bottle of perfume that's just gonna sit on my counter because half the time I forget to put it on, but I like to have perfume. So I always have these little samples of perfume and they give you two of them. I got um, Dolce & Gabbana Light Bleu. I don't know why I said it like that. And then I have Daisy Marc Jacobs. It was so fresh. So those are just the free samples that I got. I got 
I picked up some Sally Hansen products because these Sally Hansen nail polishers are really great for water marbling and I don't feel like I have enough colors to go with all of my outfits and all of the colors in the wind to water marble. So I've got these. I've got, um, this is Orchid Around, Green Thumb, and uh, Tickled Pink. So, and then, uh, digging in my box, what else do I get? Okay, so I got these. This was a really great buy. Oh, um, sorry. These are $2.99 on Ulta.com. And they had a special where if you bought two, you get one for 50% off. Or buy one, get one 50% off. I don't quite remember what it was. So, yeah, they're cheap. They're really great. Uh, anyways, I found these on Ulta.com. And they were $2.99 for the set, which is great because I needed this striving brush right here. This one. This one brush. I bought all these brushes for this one. Hopefully, it will work for what I wanted. It has dotting tools on the end. Oh. Then, in the box. In my back so stuff. Oh yeah. Uh, more Sally Hansen nail polish. I got the mellow yellow because it's springtime and there's Easter coming and you need yellow. Then I got Dabbler. Dabbler. I just thought it was pretty blue. And then I bought this is No Way Rose by Morgan Taylor. It's such a pretty like rose gold pinky color. It has that metallic sheen to it that I love oh so much, and I like their bottles. I like to touch them. Just touch the bottles. Oh my god. Oh. Shush, Dougie. Dogs are demanding entry. Oh, here's the uh, Let Bleu fell out of their little card thingy. Then, let's see. I feel like I have another nail polish in here somewhere. No, very dirt. Alright, well, anyways. So, this is a uh, OPI nail lacquer thinner that I bought. I bought this specifically because the first run of KL polish that came out was a little bit thicker. She even said, or Kathleen White's even said in a video that the spring line is going to be thinner. Uh, I wanted to thin it out a little bit because I found that it gets a little thick. But then again, I did just buy, I bought it the first round. So maybe that's because of the older formula. I don't know about the new formula. I'm dying to get my hands on that spring line. Oh gosh. Anyway, so this is OPI's Nail Lacquer Thinner, and it was $10. Let's see. Oh, yes. This was 9 by the way. Kind of expensive, but, you know, like I said, have credit card, we'll make bad decisions. Do, 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 do. What is in this box? Oh, so I was kind of mad about this. This little bear here. I saw it on Ulta, and it's like a hand gel. And it's Korean, and I was like, you know what? Everybody's really into Korean skincare right now. Maybe their Korean hand gel care would be really cool. This is a little gummy bear, and it has pineapple scented. I thought it was going to be bigger than this. This is my fault for not reading the millimeters or liters or whatever measurements they use. And it's like super tiny, and I paid $8.99 for it. I'm still going to use it because I bought it. I don't feel like returning it because it took forever for it to get here. It's adorable. Alright, let's see what else we have in my magic box. Oh. Okay, well, you guys probably won't care about this because it's not nail related. This is model owned, model zone. You know, I'll just open it because, you know, people care. Some people care. I don't know if you care, particularly, but some people care. This is model owned lip finale, a liquid lip sealer, kissable lock in couleur. I have just recently discovered the joys of matte lipstick and how it doesn't come off and it doesn't come off when you kiss somebody but there are still pretty colors that come in you know lipstick bullets and such that I want to use but they're gonna come off when I eat and come off on my husband's face because you know I kiss them all the time or come off on my dogs because I kiss their heads and then they have like red lipstick and stuff so I saw this and it's a lip finale liquid lip sealer so basically, uh, keep your lips sealed with this waterproof lip sealer. Perfect for making lip color kiss-proof for a pout that truly stands out. So, um, it looks like a nail polish, which is probably going to be very confusing. I need to make sure I keep this with only my lip stuff and not accidentally try and put it on my nails. Um, I'll let you guys know how it works, if it works. It was, I think it was like $2.99 or something like that. I don't quite remember. Let's see. What does it say on this thing? It says... 
Nothing because I can't find it. Lip sealer clear. Oh, it doesn't even say the prices on here. This is not a receipt. It should say somewhere that this is not a receipt. Screw you if you want to know what you paid for stuff. Uh, 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 uh. All right. And finally, this is the Butter London Panettone Four Pete's Nail Lacquer Collection, and it is the. I think it was like the Renew collection for 2017. They did a, a couple of these. I only wanted this one because of this rose gold one right here. It was $19 for the set. They're super teeny tiny, almost a jib, but I really wanted this one because I have not been able to find a lot of really good rose gold nail polishes. So when I see one that I actually like the color of, I have to buy it. So, you know, for instance, No Way Rose, I had to get that because rose gold. And then also rose gold. It's kind of dumb to buy an entire package for one nail polish, but when they don't sell the nail polish individually, you have to do it. Anyways, guys, that's it for my video. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you liked it. Let me know if you hated it. Let me know if you want me to do more of these because I'm willing to do it. I will spend some money and show you guys what I got. Anyways. This was weird. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.